Welcome to Friday's Living Word for today. We're going to look at Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1, one of Paul's prayers. Paul prayed it for the Ephesian Christians, but it applies to all Christians today. And it says in verse 17, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So he wants you to have revelation and understanding. I want you to realize only Holy Spirit can give you revelation knowledge. I can point you to these scriptures, give you an intellectual meaning, so to speak, but the Word of God is spirit and truth. You need Holy Spirit to give you revelation. Don't try and figure it out on your own. That's how we end up in error and we have all these various religions and crazy ideas and doctrines. So I pray for you today that you will have the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of the love of how much he loves you. Verse 18, that the eyes of your understanding are enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. That inheritance is the same inheritance that Jesus got. Victory in every area of your life. Victory over Satan. And I want you to know today what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward you who believe, according to the working of his mighty resurrection power. That same power that's working in you today is the power that raised Jesus from the dead. And it says, far above principality, power, might, and dominion, and every name that's named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. You were raised, according to Ephesians 2, 6, you were raised up with Jesus. All the works of the devil are under your feet. Pray and ask Holy Spirit to give you revelation knowledge, that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened to know the hope of his calling, to know your victory, to walk in the love of God, knowing and understanding how much your Father loves you, that you today are walking in victory. Thank you.